Well, not all of you, right? So anyway, so this is called elimination. So we're doing the same thing we've been doing for the past couple of days. Remember that when I write a solution, I want to write it as a coordinate point. Because after all, if you were to graph each one of these lines right here, the solution is a point of intersection. Now, that's the main thing I want you to remember. Right? Every solution you got on here means that that's the point where the two lines intersect. So if you wanted to really check your answer, you could. Right, you could check your answer just by solving for y for each one of these and seeing where they intersect, okay? But again, this is called elimination. So what you do in elimination is you're going to look at those two equations. And what I notice is that I have the same variable here, but one's positive and one's negative, right? So what I can do is I can add these two together. So I'm going to add them. All right, so if I add this, 5x plus 3x is 8x. And then notice the negative y plus y is 0. So that's the whole point. If you're doing elimination, you gotta, you got to be able to cancel one of the variables. And if they don't cancel, then you can do an extra thing here in a minute. I'm going to have to show you. All right, so this would be 16. Okay, so then at that point, I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. All right, so again, the whole point is to have one variable equal one number. So divide by 8. So we got x is equal to 2. That's all right. And then uh, now the next part is that now you're going to grab that x is equal to 2, and you're going to plug it in either into this equation or that equation. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. It should give you the same answer. All right, so pick one and plug it in. So what we're going to do here is, again, I'm going to, this is one of the answers. All right, so I have 5, I'm going to write it over here, 5, 5x five minus y is equal to 12. So we got 5 times 2. Right, so this is a 2. I don't mean to switch colors on you all the time, but I want you to notice where that's coming from. Right? So this is coming from here. So now I have 10 minus y is equal to 12. Right? And I'm going to subtract 10 from each side. What is wrong with that baby? Why is it so loud? Is he drinking? All right. Hold on. What is it? Why are you looking at me? I'm scared of you. Because I don't know if Lauren choose to use two. And uh, here you go. Pick one there. Okay, anyway, so then the last step would be to divide by a negative 1 on each side, so I get y is equal to po uh, negative 2, I'm sorry. Okay, so my answer, remember, write it as a coordinate point, we have 2 comma negative 2. Alright, so that's my answer. Okay, now the one that's a little bit different would be a problem like number 2. Okay, so in a problem like number 2, notice what happens if you add... Are you, is one of those variables going to cancel? Yes. Is one of those variables going to cancel if I add them like it, like they are? No. No, right? They're not because both of them are positive. So you would think this would cancel, but if you add 6c and plus 6c, that's 12c. It's not going to cancel, right? So what you need to do, therefore, is to multiply either the top or the bottom by a negative 1, all of it. Right now... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply by a negative 1 or just a negative, whatever you want to call it. And that's going to make this negative, this positive, and it's going to make that negative. Does that make sense? And then now, if I add them together, so now I'm, at a, I'm going to add this. That's going to cancel. That's going to be 9D, and this is going to be negative 27. This is like the worst time to record anything ever. Yeah. All right, so this is negative 27. All right, so again, then I'm going to, once you have, I know I did it right because I have one variable equal one number. I'm going to divide, and I'm going to plug it back in. So divide, divide this. So we got D is equal to negative 3. All right, so now I'm going to go back over here and then pick a, we're going to pick a um, line. We're going to pick a equation to plug it back in here. It doesn't matter which one you pick, pick one. Or I'm going to pick the top one just because, so we have 6c plus 7 
D is equal to negative 15. Right, remember that this is the answer that I came up with. All right, so we have 6C plus 7 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. All right, and then I'm going to add all that together. So we have 6C minus 21 is equal to negative 15. I'm going to add 21 to each side. that by 6, so C is 1. Oop. I'm sorry, C is 1. So my answer is 1 and negative 3. Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> so by the way, I, I got this question last time, and for all of you that care, and you should, if you're writing the solution, you need to write them in alphabetical order. X, X comes before Y, so that's normally how you write it. So in this one, C, D, well, you write C first and D second. All right, so don't get that backwards. Uh, so that's basically the gist of it. Okay, so if you understand that, let's do number, let's do number three. See if you can do number three on your own.